Here with Silver Rock head coach George Mahalik, a 63-19 homecoming win over Seton Hill today. Uh, game was never really in doubt for you, 28-0 at halftime. All phases of the game, pretty good performance today. Talk about your uh, overall thoughts on the performance. Well, John, you know, I thought we had productivity from all three phases today. Uh, you know, to open a game with a, a big kickoff return for a touchdown was a real big boost to us. You know, defensively played well, offense uh, got enough points on the board. Uh, different times, uh, you know. So overall, hey, uh, you know, you always want to win the homecoming games, and our team found a way to do it today. Now you got some production in different ways that uh, that you haven't had in the first three games. The run game has been phenomenal. Seton Hill really tried to bottle that up and control Shamar Green in the line of scrimmage a little bit there. Uh, but Zach Newsock was able to find Melvin Germans for some big pe big plays. They hooked up on three touchdowns. Talk about the development of the passing game over the. Well, we were anticipating that. You know, uh, with the success of our running game the past few uh, games. You know, we felt uh, teams would start crowding the line of scrimmage, so we knew that our pass game had to develop. And I'm pleased with the progress of that. I think uh, Zach Newsock and Melvin German are developing a real good chemistry uh, between the two of them. And, uh, you know, when we had to, I thought, well, we struggled a little bit at times with the passing game, but overall, you know, it helped to balance out the run. And moving ahead, the team 4-0 and now on the year, up in the national rankings. Another really strong performance this week. Uh, you'll get 4-0 and Gannon at home next week. That'll be the first real test for the team. Where is the team heading into that game? Well, hey, all I know is uh, tonight, uh, you know, the team's real excited to en enjoy a lot of family and friends and alumni coming back for this weekend. Uh, you know, they deserve a an opportunity just to enjoy the today's victory, and then, you know, we'll get back to work again tomorrow. And today, homecoming game, but also the coach to cure, the coach to cure muscular dystrophy game. Uh, talk a little bit about your uh, your special honorary captains before the game today, and uh, what it means to to contribute to that. Well, we had two very very special uh, honorary captains today, Molly Murhot and Elijah Akins. And uh, you know, when those young young people uh, live every day with the challenges of uh, you know some illnesses and disabilities, um, you know, I, I think coaches and players we just appreciate you know the, what we've been blessed with and uh, you know we're so happy to have those two young people with us and the fact that we we're able to present them with the game ball after the game and I think that was a big motivational lift for our team uh, as I introduced uh, both Molly and Elijah to them in the locker room before the game. Well congratulations on another great homecoming win now 23 and 4 in your career on homecoming congratulations coach. Well there's nothing like a rock homecoming go rock.